Hello, Sunshine State. Welcome to the News in 90 Seconds. I'm Rob Landers, bringing you some of today's top stories from across the state. After saying nothing for days about the cost to Florida taxpayers on multiple flights to and from Israel that evacuated almost 700 Americans, Governor Ron DeSantis' office has begun to shed a little light on the matter. Disputing an Orlando Sentinel report that the state had authorized spending up to almost $50 million to one contractor for the chartered flights, the state says as much as $19 million in open purchase orders has been approved. You can read the full details on the flights on our website. After years of debate, legal maneuvering, and speculation, Brightline has begun looking for a potential site on Florida's Treasure Coast. Brightline began scheduled passenger service along its 235-mile route through the Treasure Coast en route between downtown Miami and Orlando International Airport on September 22nd, but had yet to announce a station in that area. Read more on our website. Talk about an epic shot. A photographer slowly cruising through St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge, south of Tallahassee, was searching for his next great shot when a battle of the food chain unwound before his eyes. His photos revealed a viral moment in the making. A Florida green water snake caught in the mouth of a great blue heron while it coiled around the bird's long dagger-like beak. Read more details on how the photo was captured and see more photos on our website. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source of local news and information. Visit usatoday.com slash Florida Network and subscribe to your local news site. And that's 90 Seconds. Thanks for watching.